hello and welcome back to my channel today I would like to share with you a makeup look using some new products that I've sh shared with you in a haul recently the eyeshadow look um, that I'm going to start off with is using the new burning embers palette I know that I've done swatches of this but I wanted to share with you a makeup look on my channel to show you how these actually perform on the eye so I've already done one eye uh, just to make it easier for me but I haven't used any mascara because that mascara I want to share with you and I want to share with you also my first impression when I actually add the mascara so I'm just going to get my makeup brush now I really am loving these at the moment to add the base color and to smoke out the the shade I, I find that because this is very it's not very um the bristles are not very close so it makes it really easy to actually um you know blend out that base color so i'm using um now on the back they have actually got the shades uh, they don't look very similar to the shades in the palette but i'm assuming that they are placed the same so the first shade that i'm adding is called warmth and it's this caramel color in the middle it's on the second row in the middle so it's called warmth so i'll just add that for you now on the other eye so i've got my mirror here so i'll just be looking down here so i'm just going to add that to the depth that i want to start with A really gorgeous color and it is just like caramel and to start with I thought actually it's not going to show up because it's very similar to my skin tone or um, my foundation tone but once I added a few layers of this it really does look really really gorgeous I love it and I'm in fact, actually, it's very rare for me to use a colour like that, which is like a caramel sh shade. So I usually keep away from those because I think, you know, it's not going to show up. So that's the first shade. So that's warmth. Then I added in the crease itself the shade right next to it, the gorgeous brown, which I have used before. I think it's absolutely stunning. And that one is called Kindling. So I'm just going to swap now to my trusty Primark brush. These are so good for getting in the crease and then blending out. So I'm just adding that color. Just adding that to the crease. Because what I don't want to do is take too much away from that caramel look. Or that caramel shade, I should say. A little bit more it's an absolutely stunning brown shade it's got a hint of pink in it and it makes it really really wearable now as always I'm just adding a little bit at a time just to build that up these are really um, pigmented colors but what I don't want to do is um, put too much of the dark shade on um, to overlap and completely cover that caramel I'm just going to add a little bit more um, of that caramel shade with this brush because I love that so much that is absolutely stunning now I'm going to go under the eye again with a Primark brush and it's my new double-ended brush again this is a pound from Primark I really love this to go under the eye with and then this one here to add the inner corner shade which I haven't done as yet on either eye so I'm just going to add the caramel to start with and go under the eye and again you know I think less is more 
um, you can always build it up. It's not so easy to take that colour away, unfortunately. So now I'm going to go in with the, um, the second shade, the deeper brown, and just going in tighter into the under eye area. Again, what you don't want to do is brush out all of that caramel. So now I'm going to turn the brush over and what I'm going to use now is, and I've got to remember because yesterday one of these shades, oh yes I see it now, is very, if I actually know, what I'm going to do is pop the shimmer shade on first and then see what I, I might put the same lid shade in the inner corner. Now the shimmer shade is this one here, it's right on the end of the first row and it is called Heat. Yeah, heat, and it's an absolutely stunning, it's like a brownie pink shade. So I'm just going to add that with my finger as I always do to the lid. It's just gorgeous, love that. Now, because I love that shade so much, I think I am going to go into the inner corner with that shade. It is absolutely stunning. Just going to add a bit more. Love that, absolutely love it. Now for the difficult bit, which is adding the liner. Whoops, my mascara's trying to escape. And I'm just going to add that, I've obviously added it on that eye, so I'm just going to add it on this eye, if I can. I shouldn't have doubted myself because this product is so good and obviously I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner that's not new but obviously I couldn't put that on until I put the eyeshadow look on so now that's complete so I haven't even undone this yet so this is the Primark PS false lash effect which was in my haul um, I hope I can get this off okay I do find sometimes taking these off a little bit difficult but I wanted to share, share with you that I hadn't actually used it at all. So it looks like that. And ooh, the brush looks like that. It is quite a big brush. The formulation is not, it's actually quite thick. I don't know if you can see that on the tip there. So when you pull it out, it does actually make a peak with the formulation so it's not um you know liquidy in any way which you know i would be disappointed with straight away because what i don't want is anything too liquidy i don't want anything too thick either so this is just right this was two pounds fifty from um primark i'm hoping that this is going to be okay so i'm just going to add it to my both of my lashes now Well, the brush is really, really good. That looks really good. So I'm going to add some more to the other eye. I'm not going to put it right near my eye because I do have some problems sometimes with um, irritation to the eye. So I want to do this 
you know, ease my, <laughs> ease the product onto my eye without it getting too close to the actual eye, just in case there is irritation. Um, and I will know today if, if I'm gonna have any problems with this. But actually, the brush is fantastic. It is one of those thick brushes. It coats every single lash. That looks really, really pretty. I'm really impressed. So far, so good. Um, like I say, I am hoping big things um, from this because um, people have actually told me how good this is. So hopefully it will work for me. So that's the eyes done. Now what I want to do is test out this brush. So I've got bronzer on and I've got a little bit of contour on. And this is the new blush brush from Wilco. Like I say, it was a little bit more expensive than um, this brush, which I've used today for my brows. Um, this was a pound. But this is from a new collection from Wilco, and this was four pounds. So I have washed it, it's all lovely and dry now. And the palette that I'm going to use today is the Blush Palette Blush Goddess from Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to go with this gorgeous, which one is it? Yeah, it's this one here. The second one in on the bottom row. So I'm just going to coat the brush. It is a gorgeous brush. I absolutely love it. You could use it for contouring. I'm just going to add the blush now. Very soft. Mm, like that. That is really, really, I love that brush. And although I put the product on, there's, it hasn't actually um, got too much product on. It's actually delivered all of the product or most of it onto my face. So I really like that. Usually I will use this. And it's one of those, I think they're called different names, but it's like Unicorns Unite, and this is the pink version. I've also got the purple version, which I actually use to add all of my contour. That is the pink version, which I usually use to add my brush, but I think because this is contoured, um, you know, you can get right into the cheek. So I'm really, really liking that. It has dispersed the product really, really nicely. I might just add a little bit more. absolutely stunning i love that um yeah i think that's going to become one of my favorite blush brushes actually um and it definitely a one that i can when i'm washing this i can use that and vice versa you know or do whatever i want with that now for the highlight now i've used um over the last couple of days the skin kiss in peach kiss and in that video, I couldn't really um, think what that peach kiss reminded me of. And I said Urban Decay um, or Elf. But actually, I've now um, thought, I thought to myself actually today, I wonder if it's reminding me of the peach, um, Too Faced Sweet Peach blush that's on its own in that square, um, compact i don't have it myself but i have looked at some youtube videos and i wonder if that's what it's reminding me of because it is such a stunning shade it's it's a little bit duochrome because um the one from makeup revolution because it is like peach pink or pink peach however you would like to say that and it is absolutely stunning so i have actually put that on i put that on in my um skin kiss um, video showing all three of those highlights but today i thought i would show you another one and it is the skin kiss ice kiss highlighter they've got a huge mirror let me just the mirror is like that it's huge and um, my mum actually watched that video and couldn't believe the size of these um, she was really really impressed with the size of them 
bearing in mind this has got 14 grams of product for five pounds and the compact itself let me just close it again is absolutely stunning it's matte which i love i love 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 i think it looks so classy it just is absolutely gorgeous i love these i really really love the look of them i love the color the peach one um but i'm going to try the ice kiss today um so that i can get a feel of what this one looks like so i've got my trusty morphe m501 yeah that brush and i'm just going to add it on this side first of all which you won't be able to see how reflect it, it, it is to start with so I'll just add it there whoops now for the side where it will show wow I must admit I thought the peach kiss was very very reflective um, some people I've seen videos on are, are saying that it's not that reflective um, and I'm, I'm not really sure um, you know I was really unsure about the product about ordering all three because I thought you know if they're not that um, reflective then it's a little bit pointless but as you can see and if you watch my other video you'll be able to see that the, the peach uh, kiss is extremely reflective um, and I'm just going to put a bit more on this side um, and a little bit down my nose but yeah I'm extremely impressed I mean that is very reflective it's not subtle in any way and to be honest if you used fix plus to um, dampen your brush down and pop that on um, I think you'd actually have a like a mirror effect on your face so I don't think these are that subtle to be honest as you can see it's very very reflective so that's the ice kiss and obviously over the next couple of days I'll probably do um, another video showing the golden kiss.